Hello, this is Dr. Christy Patton Lukes, a chemical engineering professor at Missouri S&T. We are continuing our study of how to do capital cost estimates for chemical plant design. And we are looking at Turton et al.'s textbook on process design. We are in chapter seven on capital cost estimates. So we have some techniques for estimating the equipment cost, but it doesn't really do us any good unless we're going to install it. So we need to think about what kinds of things were included as we move to installed cost. Now, first I need to introduce you to a term you may or may not have seen before. FOB is free on board. And most of the time when you're purchasing large equipment, it's going to be FOB, the price quoted will be FOB, okay? This isn't like Amazon Prime where they're just gonna ship it to you and there's no cost. No, FOB means once it, they shove it out their door, it's yours, okay? So you're gonna have to pay for all the freight costs. If there's any liability insurance that you're gonna need to cover that shipping, all of those expenses are yours, okay? Now, that's gonna be a lot of it, but we also are going to need to think about what else goes into installing equipment. There's going to be some direct project expenses, which is gonna be the equipment, but also any other material you need for installation and the labor for installation. But there are also some indirect project expenses. That freight charge, the insurance charge, sales tax. There's going to be some overhead for the construction team. You're gonna have a contractor who's gonna have an engineer who's gonna to need to have his expenses covered. And you're gonna always need to include some for contingency and fees. Contingency is that just in case, little bit of extra money for those things that you didn't anticipate. Uh, like this week, I uh, had purchased a pump and I purchased another pump and the exit was a different size. I thought I had ordered exactly the same thing. So I needed to get a different piece to make that connection. So things like this happen and you need to have a little bit of money budgeted for just in case. A uh, contractor will have a fee that he will charge. And then there's auxiliary facility charges. You may need to do a little bit of site development. Maybe the base of this piece of equipment is a little larger than the one before. So you're going to need to adjust the way that you're going to attach it, okay, so that it will stand up properly. Uh, there may be auxiliary buildings or off-sites or utilities that you need to add as a result of this piece of equipment. The installed cost overall could be as much as eight times more than the purchase price of the equipment. Now, we've discussed this in a previous lesson, but let's do this again. There are some categories we use for talking about what the total cost is going to be. A bare module cost simply means I'm going to buy the equipment and I'm going to install it in and really I'm not going to have a lot of extra engineering fees or I'm not going to have to run you know, extra utilities. Eh, don't need any of that stuff. That's the bare module cost. Basically this is used when you're just simply replacing equipment. A total module cost is a more substantial addition to a facility but you are at an existing plant, so you have all of the infrastructure that you need, but you are going to have to, you know, put in maybe additional pipe racks, things like that. So that's the total module cost. A grassroots cost says you're starting with nothing. I purchased a cow pasture and I'm gonna build a chemical plant on it. So in that case, you're gonna to have to have site development costs. That's going to cost you more. So these are the three categories that we will use. There is one way to take the purchase price and move to uh, total module cost, or uh, actually you can also do a grassroots cost from this, but the Lang factor approach is going to take 
the purchase price of the equipment, C sub P, and turn that into the total module cost, okay? And what they say to do is just simply take the sum of all of your equipment that you're gonna buy and multiply it by one of these numbers here, okay? Now, it's 4.74 if everything is a fluid. It's 3.1 if you've got solids. If you've got a mixture of solids and fluids, it's 3.63. So it's gonna cost you a little bit more to install things with fluids, simply because you've gotta worry about leaks and those kinds of things, okay? Um, this was a study from the 1940s. A more recent variation on this is one by Thane Brown that I like better personally. And it has the same basic categories, so solids, solids plus fluids, or fluids. But what it's going to do is we're going to then, if it's a new plant with a whole new site, so this would be the same as our grassroots. cost. If it's a new unit at an existing site, this is closer to being the total module. And an expansion at an existing site, this also really for our book's definitions, this really is a total module, but it's somewhere between total module and bare module cost. So if you're looking for a bare module, this would be closest. Okay, and so there are different factors here. You'll see that they've changed, but this is on updated numbers. If you are using the module factor approach or you have bare module costs, you can use these formulas, and this is probably better if you're using the Appendix A stuff or cap cost to use these formulas. And so what this one suggests is that we're going to add up the bare module cost for all of my equipment individually and multiply by 1.18 to get to the total module cost. The grassroots cost is going to be that total module cost plus Another add-on, which is 50% of the bare module cost for the carbon steel one bar. There's no additional work required because this unit is going to be for high pressure, right? Or you're using Hastelloy C instead of carbon steel. So you're going back to the bare module for carbon steel and one bar for this extra piece. This one is the original as specified with the correct materials and pressure. So these are some various ways of going from a purchase price to an installed cost for our equipment. Thank you very much for your time.